How's it going, everybody? Oh, my goodness. Brian here with Edna's Unbaked CBD. And do we have a whopper regarding Delta 8? So, I, I, bad news to start off the video, but I think we're going to finish with good news. So, hang in tight with me because I've had so many calls, so many messages. Kind of want to go into a little more detail um, and explain our opinion on it. We are not lawyers. We are not giving you advice on what to do. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Uh, but this is our viewpoint of things. Okay, so let's start out with DSHS. That is who we get our hemp licenses through. Okay, now, they have came out, they came out Friday, which I found out a couple of days ago, and just, just nonchalantly added this on the website to where Texas Health and Safety Code, Chapter 443, established by House Bill 1325, which we will go into detail here in just a second, allows consumable hemp products in Texas that do not exceed 0.3 Delta 9. Correct. All other forms of THC, including Delta 8 in any concentration, and Delta 9 exceeding 0.3 are considered Schedule 1 substances. I, dis I disagree, and we will go into why. But here's another thing. DSHS has no regulatory authority over controlled, controlled substances. So they're basically just making a statement. If you remember, and you've been following the channel, okay, you'll remember that they did the same thing to smokable hemp. Remember them banning smokable hemp? We were in a panic. We couldn't sell pre-rolls. We couldn't, you know, sell the loose flour there for a little bit. I mean, we were, oh my goodness, they're banning smokable hemp. Are you kidding me? Industry in Texas sued. They got a restraining order. Remember, we came back on and we said, okay, it's not official, but Judge Livingston had placed a restraining order that way, we're allowed to sell it while the court proceedings go on. Fast forward a year after that, we came on. We were excited because we won the case. The restraining order was gone because we had won and smokable hemp was back legal officially. We didn't have to worry about nothing. I think the same thing will happen here regarding Delta 8. And let me explain why I believe that. So first off, if you'll click House Bill 1325, It'll go over here, okay? This is the bill that was passed in 2019. It was actually went effective June uh, 10th of 2019. Okay, so we want to read the bill. We don't want hearsay. We don't want what we think. We want to read black and white bill law is what we want to read. So that's where you're going to click text, okay? Enrolled will be the final version, okay? So here under bill... I prefer the PDF. We're going to click the PDF. Scrolly, scrolly a little bit. Okay, we're on page one right here, which I also have printed off for inside the store. Uh, we have it. We have it all highlighted, the whole nine yards, what we're going to go through. I have that in the store as well. But in this chapter, hemp, which is all we sell, everything derived from hemp, means the plant cannabis sativa L and any part of that plant, including the seeds of the plant, and all derivatives, extracts, cannabinoids. Let's go to page two. We're still here, HB number 20, uh, 1325. It includes all isomers of the hemp plant, acid, salts, salts of isomers, whether growing or not. Growing, selling, possession, that's what they're talking about. No matter what, okay? With Delta 9 concentration of no more than 0.3. Black and white. Everything is legal, everything, regarding the hemp plant, no matter how it comes from the hemp plant, as long as it's not fake or synthetic, which would be created, okay? That wouldn't be coming from the hemp plant, okay? If you get it from the hemp plant, it's legal as long as it doesn't have a Delta-9 concentration of 0.3. Isn't that, isn't that what we've been doing? Yes, that's what we've been doing. So nothing on the law has been changed. DSHS doesn't get to write laws. They don't get to change laws. That's what Congress is for, okay? And so it's very clear on page one and two of the bill 
that everything is fine as long as we don't have the point three above point three of Delta nine, which is what we thought all along. Okay. And that's why I think this takes the same path as smokable hemp did. I think they're trying to make a statement that it's illegal. And then unfortunately the industry is going to have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to prove it in court, but it is what it is. And I want to give a massive shout out to hometown hero. Okay. And I will put the link. They just uh, put a update and I will put that link in the bottom. Um, they even invited us on a Zoom call a couple of days ago, which is what I was waiting on yesterday. I thought we were going to get this update yesterday and I was going to make the video, uh, but they are doing everything they can. They are heading the front lines for us in Texas. Um, in fact, when this restraining order is put in place, we are going to start wholesaling some products from Hometown Hero to show them some support for what they're doing for the industry. I really am so appreciative of what they're doing. We're going to join in and hopefully uh, donate some money to the cause, but they are putting their money where their mouth is. They have put up 100000 already on retainer. Um, this update will tell you that they have filed for the restraining order yesterday, but that the court has, and, and the, excuse me, and the court has received and acknowledged the request for restraining order, but they're allowing the state to comment, okay? And once the state comments, which should be today or tomorrow, the judge, the judge will rule regarding the restraining order. So once we get the restraining order, we're back selling it, we're back like normal until the court case is done. So, Bad news, DSHS decided to say that it's illegal and we have pulled the products from online, we have pulled the products from in-store. The good news is we've got good people like the people from Hometown Hero and there's even another, I believe, manufacturer that's matching their hundred grand and then all of us smaller shops are going to donate. He said that we'll have an... Uh, an option next week to donate and help out for the back end of everything. And so the smokable hemp um, court case cost about a half a million to win that one. Um, he was assuming that it would cost probably pretty similar. Um, and so he's put up, or the company's put up a hundred. Another company has matched it for another hundred. That's 200. And then we should have all the small shops just pitch in what they can and little here, little there, uh, should add up. And, and I really believe we can win this case because I believe the law, the actual law is on our side. Is it frustrating? Does it make me mad? Oh, I want to pull what little hair I have out, okay? But at the end of the day, we got to do this the right way. We've got to be able to fight it in court, prove our stance, prove the law is on our side, and get it back legal, just like we did with smokable hemp. I remember pulling those off the shelf, and then in a few days, they were right back on the shelf. So by the time I could get stickers and everything else to show everybody that it was off, it was basically back on. So I'm hoping and optimistic that that will be the case for Delta 8. So going to do updates like I did with smokable hemp. Anytime I get an update, I'm going to pop on here, at least show you what, what I'm thinking. And I appreciate the support. I really, really do. But don't panic on me. Don't panic. We are going to fight this. We, as in the industry in Texas, are going to fight this. And I know y'all have um, our back. And I will let you know as soon as I know anything. Hopefully, my next video, I'm super excited that we've got Delta 8 back on the shelf. So we will talk to you soon. And thank you so, so much. And y'all have a wonderful day and take care of each other.